hey guys welcome back in the last video we created this wooden cart for the motor and added some support and today we are going to add some more details so let's start let's take another cylinder and bring it to this side rotate it like this and increase the height to 7.5 and the radius to 0 0.25 go to front view and place it here like this Uh, now we need to adjust this cart a little bit so select it and go to vertex mode select these vertices and these ones push them in just a little bit like this and place this cylinder here So that this cylinder stops this motor to going down. Again, let's reduce some more radius to 0.2 and go to front view, place it here. Increase the subdivisions to 26. and go to edge mode select this edge and select similar to make the selection on both sides then bevel and increase the segment to 2 and fraction to 0 0.25 also go to edge mode and select these three edges again select similar now go to mesh display and select the soft on edge now take another cylinder go to front view and place it here on the top of this cylinder then decrease the radius and height place it here like this and change the subdivision axis to 16 and radius to 0 0.025 and again go to edge mode select this edge and bevel increase one segment and decrease the fraction to 0 0.35 go to edge mode and select these three edges and again go to mesh display and soft on edge Go to front view and go to wireframe mode. Now change the pivot, press D and V to snap it to the center of the cylinder and create some duplicates. Press Ctrl D and rotate it like this. And again, two more duplicates. Now select all these cylinders and duplicate again and place it on the other side like this
now select this cylinder again and duplicate place it down here go to front view and place this one under the cart now take a pipe bring it out and rotate this go to front view again and place it around this cylinder decrease the radius snap it to the center of this cylinder like this and then again decrease the radius and height to 0 0.45 Increase the subdivision axis to 26. Now select it and again create a duplicate and place it on the other side. Now select this cylinder and isolate this. Go to edge mode. Select this edge, press control right click and split it. Now bevel it and increase the fraction to 0 0.98. Bring your model back and you'll see this edge here select it and this one bring them close scale them like this and again bevel Now go to face mode and select these three faces. And extrude them. Increase the thickness. Like this. To 0 0.1. And scale them in the X axis first. So go to front view. And flat it. Now scale it like this go to edge mode and select all these edges again select similar then select similar bevel decrease the fraction and increase one segment keep the fraction to 0 0.05 scale the wheel a little bit delete this one and Again copy this one, create a duplicate and place it on the other side, like this. Uh, now go to front view and select all of it, create another duplicate and place it on the back. So we have created the wheels, let's add some more details. 
again take a cube press r and scale it like this and till here Now isolate this box and delete these faces. Bring your model back and extrude it. Increase the thickness to 0.04. Go to edge mode and select all these edges. And bevel. Increase one segment, decrease the fraction to 0 0.35. Now we have this metal support for the motor. And let's create some more support. Isolate this one and go to face mode. Select all these faces and deselect these faces on the bottom. And these ones. Duplicate these faces. Select them and combine. Now extrude. Increase the thickness to 0.02 or 0.03. Now let's make some changes. Select it and Go to vertex mode. Select all these vertices and pull them up like this. Now select it and again isolate. Go to edge mode and select all these edges.
and bevel increase one segment and fraction to 0.65 Again go to edge mode and select all these edges. Go to mesh display and select this soften edge. Now go to top view and wireframe mode. Then press D and X and snap the pivot to the center of the grid. And create a duplicate. Go to your channel box. And in the Z axis add minus 1. Now let's add some more details. Go to front view again and Take another cylinder, pull it up and rotate it, bring it out and place it on this cylinder, decrease the radius, and subdivision axis to 16 or maybe 14 delete the caps and go to front view then go to face mode and select all these faces and delete go to vertex mode select all these vertices and pull them up and scale to bring them close Then go to edge mode and select this edge and this one press shift and scale them like this again scale this whole thing to align with this metal plate Go to front view again and go to vertex mode, select these vertices, pull them down. Go to object mode and extrude, add thickness to 0.03 and again go to edge mode, select all these edges. and bevel increase one segment increase the fraction to 0.65 again go to edge mode and select these two edges and bevel again increase one segment and decrease the fraction maybe two segments and fraction to 
जीरो पॉइंट टू और टू टॉप व्यू एंड गो टू वाई फ्रेम मोड एंड प्रेस डी एंड एक्स स्नैप द पेवेट टू द सेंटर ऑफ द ग्रिड क्रिएट अनदर डुप्लीकेट गो टू चैनल बॉक्स एंड स्केल वाई एड माइनस वन You can go to edge mode again and select all these edges. Go to mesh display and soften edge or you can just bevel them but it will increase some segments like this. So delete that one and select this one again. Duplicate scale y add minus one, and we are done with this. So I guess that's it for today. In the next video, we are going to add some more details in this model, and maybe in the next video we will finish the modeling. So yes, that's it for today. and if you like this video then subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video till then thank you for watching